ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, my name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. As you can see today, I've gone for a mix of business and summer look, uh, but today we were talking about Six Flags Fiesta Texas because I have... <clears throat> cracked the code. Uh, now, I'm sure many other people have done this as well, but there was 15 letters spotted around the park. You know, I'm going to go into more detail about it in a bit, but before we get started with all of this, please like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this, subscribe if you are new around here, click notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Also, guys, check the description down below for all those good stuff, um, all the good stuff, all the YouTube and everything like that. Uh, obviously, please, it's really important you subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 3,000 subs and a million views. We're only, what, I'd say under 10 subscribers away from 2,400, so we're nearly towards the halfway point between two and 3,000. So it would really help if we do push towards 3,000 by the end of the year at least. It'd be great if we get to 4K, but I'll settle for 3K for the end of this year and then just try and get to 4K as soon as possible. And for now, guys, let's try and crack the code from 65 Fiesta Texas 2022 teasers. So... For those of you who need a little bit more information and context about this, basically those logos have been appearing on pathways across the park and we've got 15 letters on 15 different logos spotted on different pathways all around the theme park. And basically I've managed to find all the letters and crack the code as to what it says. And also talk a bit about what this means for my predictions and possibilities. So let's get straight into it and talk about the teasers of cracking the code. So, on the pathways there are 15 letters, and they all spell Fountain of Youth. Now, for those of you who need a little bit of historical context, the Fountain of Youth, a mythical spring, allegedly restores the youth of anyone who, will, who drinks or bathes in its waters. So, basically, if you've watched Ice Age Collision Course, and you see the Shangri-Lama and all those old people bathing in the water and that crystal falls in at the end, and it sort of restores their youth. That's what basically that's based on, the Fountain of Youth. Uh, so tales of such a fountain have been recounted across the world for thousands of years. Appearing in the writings of Herodotus, 5th century BC, and the Alexander Romance, 3rd century AD, and in the stories of Prester John in the early Crusades, 11th and 12th centuries AD. Stories of similar waters also feature prominently among the people of the Caribbean during the Age of Exploration in the early 16th century. They spoke of the restorative powers of the water of the mythical land of Bimini. Based on these many legends, explorers and adventurers looked for the elusive fountain of youth or some other remedy to aging, generally associated with magic waters. These waters might have been a river, a spring, or any other water source said to reverse the aging process and to cure the sickness when drunk or bathed in. So that's the whole historical context based on the fountain of youth. Now, obviously you're gonna to wanna to know about my possibilities of, of storylines for this ride. Now, there's a couple of possibilities that I've put together myself. One of them could be the coaster or attraction being based on a transport site over the burial site of the Fountain of Youth. So it could be a transport site trying to um, recover the crystals that cause the Fountain of Youth or the essence of the Fountain of Youth or a transport site that delivers the Fountains of Youth's um, source. Now, obviously, another storyline could be a Mad Doctor, which links to the plague mask on the logo, but the Mad Doctor stealing the essence of the Fountain of Youth and using it to create a site where it can end aging over the world by reversing its power uh, using the source of the Fountain of Youth. So, there's a couple of different ways you could do the storyline of this, but now it's time to talk about three coaster possibilities that I've got which links to the Fountain of Youth theme. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. That is speaking about uh, the Fountain of Youth and the potential storylines that will be coming from it. Now, as you can see, I've gone for a very uh, business and casual summer look uh, combination uh, today because I want to sort of explore the possibility of mashing some stuff together. And I think that using the storyline and losing the historical context of the Fountain of Youth, I've put together my mergings with coasters and give you three possible coaster additions. Now, 
One of them is the Zampala Coaster Concept, the Double Heart. And this has been mentioned on forums and fan pages for a little bit of time now. Obviously, if you didn't know already, the Zampala Double Heart is a brand new concept by Zampala Rides, of course, uh, owned by Antonio Zampala, birth creator Antonio Zampala, who's a wonderful guy in the industry, huge, huge successful guy in the industry. Uh, now, obviously... Um, with Zampella, they're not renowned for their major coaster concepts. Now, obviously, this could change with the addition of a Zampella Double Heart at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, because, of course, Fiesta Texas are known for creating brand new World's First or America's First concepts. Now, obviously, with the Double Heart, this will be a World's First concept. However, I personally don't think it will be. Now, the thing that sort of draws me to the Zampella Double Heart is the fact that the whole Fountain of Youth, you know, reverses aging, and it sort of doesn't make you age. So I think the whole reverse psychology of it will be transmitted into the type of coaster. So again, that whole idea of the Zampella Double Heart being a reverse and forward launching coaster concept, uh, shuttle coaster concept. And I feel like Zampella could take advantage of the Fountain of Youth storyline and really create something around that. Now, the second possibility, and probably one of the most likely possibilities amongst the coaster community and the coaster enthusiasts, is the SNS Axis coaster concept, which again will be a world's first. Now, SNS, of course, I've interviewed two of the guys from SNS, Josh Hayes and Lars Lenders, uh, the director of sales based in the States, Josh Hayes, and the director of sales based in Europe, Lars Lenders, uh, over in Amsterdam. Now, obviously, I'm speaking to those guys, they're very excited about the future of SNS and what's to come over the next few years. Now, could that mean an SNS Axis coaster next season. Now, obviously, it's a very different possibility. Again, concepts, world's first concept. It is a world's first. They add this in next year because it will be the first of its kind and the first of these Axis coaster models. Obviously, it won't be the last because I think we'll be expecting uh, more of these around the world uh, over the next decade or so. Uh, now, obviously, the Axis coaster, again, reverse, reverse aging, the seats reverse and spin. So, obviously, you've got that element to it. Uh, and of course you could do some really nice theming and rock work to sort of tie the coaster in with the rock work and its uh, surrounding landscape. Again, that could be a real possibility there. Now the third coaster concept that I've got in mind, and this might be an interesting one. Again, this is a world's first. It's an adaption or uh, extension to the originating concept. However, this is technically a world's first. A Matt Rides looping power splash. Now, obviously Fiesta Texas likes to outdo the competition. What's down the road? Well, not really down the road. Obviously, it's still a few, you know, yards away. Not yards. Hours away. But what is further down? Six Flags over Texas. Now, they've got a map. Power Splash coming next, year, uh, coming next year, which is Aquaman Power Wave. What could Fiesta Texas do? They could do a looping Power Splash and create the world's first looping water coaster. Again, world's first concepts and adapting to what Overtex is doing for their part next year. Of course, Overtex fans might get a little bit angry about that, but at the end of the day, it's competition. Now, obviously, this is the least of the three coaster possibilities that I'm going for, but the whole idea of the Fountain of Youth, the water aspect of it, sort of draws me to that concept as being a bonus option. Um... But like I said, with Aquaman Power Wave over Texas, it is the least likely of the three. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video, analyzing the code being cracked for 65 Fiesta Texas teasers. Obviously, the letters do spell Fountain of Use. We have an idea now on the storyline or part or a puzzle of the storyline uh, to be pieced together with the rest of the theming going on, uh, with the teaser campaign going on on the fences and etc. Uh, and the logo itself. So... Please, guys, make sure you like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click the case bell so you never miss another video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chal, Cootley in the Coast of Life. And I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a six-fives-tastic day.